we'll move forward to what is called crop view. Okay, a crop view is basically a portion of your original view. So we have this particular view right here, and uh, I, I really don't need to display the whole thing. Maybe I'm concerned only with this uh, cylindrical portion here, and I just want to highlight this or focus the attention on it. So I create what is called a crop view. Now to create a crop view, you have to create some geometry determining you know where the boundaries are of that crop view. Uh, I mean, you could you, you could use any of these commands: a line, rectangle, circle. Uh, I prefer like the spline since you know it's it's easy to use and kind of uh, it allows you to freely create a perimeter. You know, you don't have to have exactly like a circle or whatever. So here's a perimeter. Okay, notice the perimeter's highlighted still. While it's highlighted, I go to crop view. Okay, and hit it, and that's it. You have a crop view. Very simple. Okay. Take the crop view anywhere you want, scale it, change it, whatever. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Now, any view that you change like this can be reversed. Uh, I haven't told you that, uh, like when I did the breaking, broken uh, view and all that stuff. Uh, any view that you manipulate like this, you could right click and say, well, in this case, uh, I have a crop view, but I want to remove the crop, okay, or edit it, change it. Uh, that breaking the shaft that I showed you earlier can be also reversed. So it's, the beauty is that when you create these views, I mean, you're not forever stuck with them. You know, you, you could always reverse them. So if I'm tired of this, I just go back and remove the crop or maybe manipulate the boundaries and change things. <laughs>